Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneWolf.com and in this video I'm doing a comparison between Samsung's TouchWiz UI against HTC's Sense4 user interface to see which one comes out on top and also which one's best for you. The reason why I'm doing this comparison though is because a lot of times both these manufacturers put out absolutely great phones like the HTC One X and the Samsung Galaxy S3 which are similarly spec'd so it's hard to choose one over the other and ultimately it can come down to the software that comes shipped with each device. So. That's the reason why I'm going to be doing a comparison between these two UIs. I'm going to be comparing them in 10 different categories and uh, giving you advantages that each UI has that the other one doesn't. And at the end of the comparison uh, for each category, I'm going to give you the winner. At the end, we'll tally it up to see you know, which UI actually comes out on top. So with that said, let's go right into the review. All right, so the first category I'll compare between the two UIs is the lock screen. So I'll go ahead and take a look at TouchWiz first. So I'll go ahead and lock the screen and unlock it. First thing you'll notice is uh, these application shortcuts here at the bottom. You have four of them, which you could actually customize to be whatever you want. And unlike on Sense, they could be completely different from what shows up on your application dock right over here. Where on Sense, you know, the ones that show up on your lock screen have to be the same as what shows up on your application dock. The next advantage is you have the ability to show your weather and have a news ticker as you guys can see on the bottom at the same time showing your news or stocks. Um, pretty cool. Sense has that ability to do it separately but uh, not at the same time. And the last advantage is you could unlock the screen from pretty much anywhere. I mean I could swipe over here and unlock it and uh, I could swipe it from over here and unlock it and pretty much you know anywhere I want. Also, if I put a uh, static wallpaper instead of a live wallpaper, you have that little water ripple effect which is pretty cool but anyway. That's the advantages that this guy has. I'll go ahead and show you some of the different features that the Sense UI actually gives you with the lock screen. So I'll go ahead and go to the personalized tab and then the lock screen styles. So as you can see, you have the photo album effect, you have a productivity uh, effect, you have a different scene for friend stream, weather, people, etc. So you have a bit of more options, which is nice. But like I said, if I wanted the news, I'd have to choose just the stocks alone. If I wanted the weather, I had to choose just the weather alone. I can't really combine the two, um, which is a downside. But if you guys like, for example, photos, I'll go ahead and leave that. It's the one I have right now. I unlock my screen and my photos will automatically pop up. So pretty cool, a little effect there. But overall, the advantages of TouchWiz actually outweigh that advantage on Sense. So the win here goes to TouchWiz. So the official score so far is one to zero. All right, so the next thing we'll compare is the home screen. So again, we'll start with TouchWiz. So the advantages TouchWiz has here is one, you can scroll uh, from any home screen by simply sliding. So obviously you're gonna have a lot of home screens on your phone. You could add and you know, delete as many as you want, just like you could on Sense. But the difference is if you're using the phone one-handed, instead of having to go like this to uh, go through your screens, you can actually tap over here and uh, slide over just like that. So you can see sliding it over from screen to screen actually is really easy on here. And uh, the next thing is you could actually change your wallpaper by pressing holding uh, on the home screen just like that. So you could change your home screen, lock screen, or both wallpapers, and also you could add shortcuts just like that. So pretty easy to do. Um, on Sense though, you actually have the ability to make folders just like you would on Ice Cream Sandwich. So you could actually you know, drag and drop folders on top, on top of one another to make a folder. You can't do that on TouchWiz even though that's an Ice Cream Sandwich feature. Another thing is you could actually add widgets right from you know, your home screen by pressing and holding. And actually it's really easy on Sense. So for example, I'll go to this home screen really quick and uh, delete this widget because I have no room. So I'll delete this guy and then we'll add a widget. So you guys can see, you know, there's a bunch of widgets I could choose from, much more than you'd find on the TouchWiz UI. And also there's a lot more wallpaper, so that's another advantage. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a calculator widget. And a lot of these are from HTC. You could actually order them, you know, whatever way you want. So I'll just do calculator, got my calculator widgets, tap on this guy and boom, it's added. So really easy to add widgets, definitely a nice advantage. And like I said, because there's more home screens, our home screen wallpapers and widgets, uh, the edge goes to HTC Sense in this category because I do like that a lot more. So now the official score is actually one to one. We'll go ahead and go on to our next test, which is the uh, notification bar. So we'll go ahead and compare both notification bars. This one's actually pretty easy. Um, the notification bar is just like it is on ICS. I mean, not just like it is as far as looks, but um, functionality. You have your settings button and that's pretty much it. Where on the TouchWiz user interface, you scroll down and you have wireless toggles over here. You have eight of them, or nine, or ten of them, should I say? 
So you have 10 or no, nine wireless toggles that you can turn on and off, like screen rotation I really like, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, things like driving mode and things like that. So it's pretty cool. You have the same settings option, but easy win for touch was here. So now the official score is two to one. And uh, the next category is, let me take a look at my notes really quick, is the app drawer. So the app drawer on both of these phones um, are pretty similar. I mean, you tap on these, this little icon right here and you get straight to your apps. But unlike on uh, Sense, on TouchWiz, you have the widget just like it is on ICS. You have to tap up here to do it. Um, the advantages that TouchWiz has in this area is it's easy at sliding from home screen to home screen again or from uh, app screen to app screen. So with one-handed use, it's gonna be a lot easier. Another thing is you can actually uninstall your apps in bulk. So you tap menu and uninstall. And I just tap the little minus icon, kind of like it is on the iPhone, to uninstall apps just like that, which is pretty cool. Another thing that you could do on the uh, TouchWiz UI is go to view type. And for example, I can make it a list instead of a grid, but you know, I prefer the grid. So I'll go ahead and back to grid. And the last thing, and this is probably my favorite feature is you could actually hide applications. So um, let me move this guy out of the way. You tap on hide applications and I can hide anything I want. So for example, let's say I don't use this game hub, which comes pre-installed on the phone. I'll just check on it, hit done and boom, it, it disappears. Of course, if I ever wanted to unhide it, I just hit show hidden applications. You can see I've already hit a whole bunch, especially those T-Mobile bloatware apps that come on the phone. You can hide them. So absolutely awesome feature. Um, haven't seen this before, but I absolutely love it. So because of that, the win go, does go to uh, TouchWiz again here. So the official score after this is three for TouchWiz and one for Sense. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, next test, which is the camera. All right, so the cameras on both these phones are pretty good, obviously, but the software is really different. Um, on TouchWiz, the only thing that really stands out to me is the fact that you could customize the little shortcuts that show up here. So I can hit settings and hit edit shortcuts and pretty much you know customize, for example, if I don't want this thing over here, I could actually, or I would just grab one here and replace it like that. So cool little feature, but that's pretty much it as far as uh, any you know, special effects go that touch our sense doesn't have. But sense, obviously you have a bunch of features. One, you have the ability to uh, take easy burst shots. So you press and hold on this instead of having to go through the settings like you would on TouchWiz. Another thing is you have the ability to take a video right from here. So you don't actually have to, you know, hit settings and go to video mode or switch to the little switch or flip the little switch. Instead, you just tap that guy and it'll take, take you straight to recording a video. So it's a lot quicker. Um, another thing is you have easy access to zoom or uh, auto flash. So I can just tap on it like that instead of going through the settings again. And the uh, last thing is you have slow motion video on here. So if you go to uh, the effects, you can actually record the slow motion video. And that's really cool. Um, both phones don't have time lapse for some reason, but at least the HC has slow motion video, which is uh, absolutely cool. You just you would just hit the uh, record button. You can see the little icon changed. It has a little guy running in slow motion. So the win here goes to Sense, obviously, and uh, the official score is now three for TouchWiz and two for Sense. Let's go ahead and go on to the next category. All right, so that category is multitasking. So let's go ahead and open up the multitasking tabs on both of these guys. And um, as you can see um, on the TouchWiz UI, it's pretty much like it is on Ice Cream Sandwich. You know, it's you can scroll up and down, and if you want to close an app, you would just tap or swipe it to the left or right which is like it is on Ice Cream Sandwich or Jelly Bean. But the cool thing on TouchWiz is you can hit Remove All and it'll close out all your apps. Also, you have access straight to your Task Manager um, right from that screen, where on the Sense UI, you're, all you really have is the ability to close your apps and you have to swipe up. You can't swipe them down, only up. And uh, honestly, it takes a long time to do it this way. Even if I didn't use the remove all feature here, swiping them to the side, considering how big the screens are, you know, the side isn't that long compared to the length of it going up. And you know, this actually takes a long time. I feel like I have to like drag my finger uh, all the way to the top of the screen to close them. So advantage goes to uh, TouchWiz here. So the official score after this is four for TouchWiz and uh, just two for Sense so far.